If you're viewing a worksheet that you're not familiar with, one of the things you need to know in some worksheets is where are the formulas and what are they? Now on a cell by cell basis, we might click, for example, on cell B7, we can see in the formula bar, of course that is a formula, but that's gonna be a little tedious. We might wanna actually see the formulas in the cell. There is a command for this, it's on the formulas tab, it's called show formulas. We can click this, look what happens. And by the way, note the keystroke shortcut, which we'll get to in a second. It's gonna be faster than this, but show formulas does what? It doubles the width of all columns as it exposes formulas. It also left aligns other data. Sometimes that tab isn't present, so getting back to here isn't always as fast as it might be. What's this control business, and what's that shortcut that we see out there? You can barely see it. Right here on the screen, I put this here on purpose, the symbol that we see, and let me zoom in on this, is a tilde on top of what is sometimes referred to as an accent grave. And on most keyboards, this is in the upper left-hand corner, below escape and above tab and to the left of the number one on most keyboards. By holding down control and pressing this key, no shift key is involved, you get the same effect and it's very fast. I use this very frequently. Anytime I'm looking at a worksheet I'm not too familiar with, I wanna see where the formulas are, I'll press this combination and it's also a toggle which will take us back to a normal view. So as I press this now, I'm holding down control, not the shift key, but pressing the key that's got the tilde and the accent grave on it to do this. Back and forth, just to show how quickly it is. It never does any damage, of course, and it does in many situations give you a quick idea of what this worksheet is all about. I myself refer to it as control tilde because the other character is not nearly so clear. We don't know what to call that other character. Anyway, we see how fast this is. And I'll, I'll zoom back a little bit here. As we press control tilde, we might want to print this. And so before doing that, maybe click in the upper left corner, double click a column boundary, and then our print preview from here. And here's a print preview button in the quick access toolbar. And we'd probably have to make some adjustments there with some weird formulas and so on. But we could print that out and use that as a source of documentation. That could be helpful. Another thing we might consider doing too is to open up another view of the same worksheet and have one view of the worksheet show the formulas and the other view show the data. So on the view tab, we could choose new window and then on that same tab, arrange all, stick with tiled, make sure you check the box if it's not checked, windows of active workbook, click okay. And now we'll have the two sheets side by side and make one of them show if it isn't already, show the data and the other ones show the formulas. Sometimes it's handy to work with the two side by side that way. But there's no question that in certain worksheets, you get a quick understanding of what's going on by seeing the formulas, by pressing this keystroke shortcut, control tilde or whatever you wanna call it, or press it again to go back to a normal view.